All right, so we got the rear tire installed on the bike that my boy came through yesterday. Brought me the Pirelli Scorpion. And today I happen to get my order, which is this. So we got my stuff from Motorsport and Rocky Mountain. And I think I have one more package that should be here soon. So we ended up getting a front tire to match the Pirelli Scorpion that my boy ended up getting me, getting me for... He ended up taking care of me and then he added the tire on top so that was cool of him thank you shout out so let me get into this let's, let's see what we got so for this i think this is my sprocket combo yeah so you know we had to go a little uh, sunstar oh that's nice It's a goat. <laughs> That's cool. It's a goat sticker. <laughs> and we ain't playing. Front spark sprocket sunstar. Cromoli steel. That's nice. So And we got a Sunstar Works Sprocket. Ooh, yeah. That. Now that. Oh, man. That is a... What? Would you just look at it? Have you seen something more pretty? Oh, that is nice. Oh. This is almost too nice to put on. It came with new screws, new hardware. I like that it has a sticker, but it only has one. Don't know where I'm gonna put that. I got, yeah, yeah to match fire that's awesome and with the gold chain Ooh. can't wait to put this stuff all on you guys already know this is gonna be I gotta put this on by tomorrow and what sucks is that I'm on short time so ideally what I do need is just the sprocket the sprockets and the chain to be put on the bike before Saturday. It's Thursday night. I'm gonna try and get a head start on my bike right now. Get everything off, the tires on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get this tire put on. So I don't know how it's gonna work. <clears throat> I'm hoping, mainly what I do need is the sprockets and everything. So if I have enough time and I get stuff done today, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking apart the front tire and release it, you know, kind of re put the new one on. So let's go see what what's in the next box. So, uh, All right, now we're gonna go ahead into the next box. Hopefully, I don't got my address in here. Oh, what a big box for yeah, yeah. So we got some a chair beast rally pro handguards. I had some other ones on my YZ that they were kind of smaller plastic. I just went ahead and got the big dogs. We ain't playing no more games. I'm getting tired of I'm getting tired of getting hung up on on vines and stuff, pulling my handlebars to the side while we're riding. We ain't doing that no more. Oh, half of it's in here. Oh, <laughs> damn, let's go. We got the FMF shorty. <clears throat> let's go. Yes, 
my pipe is what's on the way right now. So <clears throat> I didn't think I'd have the silencer. So that's a plus, meaning I can run the silencer in case the pipe in here. So we're gonna, we're gonna, you already know we're gonna do that. Oh, I see it's got a sticker. I don't know why stickers are more exciting than the product for me. Damn, this looks so nice. This is a nice piece of machine right here. Look at this. This is a nice piece of machinery. I love that it has this serial numbers engraved. The date manufacturing, 423. Number one leader in exhaust performance. You already know, by the best. Impressive. This is impressive and it it's crazy it doesn't weigh anything like this is nuts oh shorty if you have any suggestions or comments on why i went on with the shorty if you have any make sure you write on the comments down below i'll respond and you know if you have a yz 125 i have a 2022 if you have one of these what silencer did you go with? What pipe combo? You know, let me know wh why you like it. And I'll let you know how I like this in the comments. And we can go from there. So that's what we're all out here doing, man. Trying to learn from the community. And have a good time. So let's keep looking. And not but less, least, TM Design Works. Factory edition chain slide. Oh, this is nice. That's it. This is nice. So this is the chain slide. I did the combo. Because I figured I was going to go OEM. But we're in the sand, man. Out here in Florida, it's just deep sand chewing everything up. So... Those ones still have a little bit of life. I'm going to take those off and kind of keep them as backup. They're OEM. So, we got a beautiful sticker. I love it. And some new hardware. So, TMD. TM Design works. I've always seen great things about these. Reading through, like, the... Reading through MXA and, you know, stuff like that through websites. Most factory bikes have something like that on them and that's just kind of what i'm trying to do i'm trying to build me a factory bike but to my specs a little woods weapon and i'm excited for it man you know like i've had it for a year and this is the first like this is the time where i'm doing some really i wouldn't say crazy mods but you know stuff that really matters and sets the bike off so i'm excited i think i'm gonna try these grips on i'm not sure these are lock-on grips. I got these in one of my FMF packages in the subscription box. That came in one of my boxes. So I should be getting one soon, shortly, next week, maybe in a week or two. And stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to start getting a head start on this. That way, I'm just ahead of the game. I don't want to be behind. All right. And last but not least, the Scorpion Tire. Let's check out this pattern. I'm excited. Be careful, I sucker. I don't mess it up. Give me one second. Let me get this out of the package. this is a good looking tire I like that it feels soft but still tough at the same time Pirelli Scorpion XC mid soft for the front these are supposedly are meant not supposedly these are made for enduro and woods riding mud so just to match the one on the back 
and hopefully I can put that tire on by the end of the week by before this weekend that way I can ride it there's nothing wrong with the tires it's just they're better grip for what we're doing I'm using those Bridgestone X, Battlecross X20 and those are meant for just hard packed dirt like Glen Helen and other stuff that's what the bike came with and I'm mostly riding woods anyway and the moto tracks out here are all, are all sand or it's just soft dirt anyways on to this let me I'm gonna try and get a head start all right now that I got that unwrapped I'm gonna try and get put that tire on before the weekend but I'm not gonna get my hopes up the main thing is just getting the sprockets on the chain because that's what's gonna help me ride and that's what's stopping me from riding right now the sprockets are shot out i don't want to ride them and you'll see in a little bit why i'm gonna i'm gonna think i'm gonna continue this tomorrow early morning i'm gonna call it a night i just got out of work and it's late tonight so let's see you guys tomorrow morning